notorious fire festival promoter Billy McFarlane pleaded guilty Tuesday for duping investors of the failed Bahamas music soiree and has agreed to forfeit over $26 million. McFarland, 26, copped to two counts of wire fraud, which would have carried a maximum prison sentence of 20 years each if he was convicted at trial for using bogus documents to lure investors to what was billed as a lox festival on the island of Exuma Island over two weekends in April and May of 2017. Under the guidelines to which prosecutors and defense lawyers have agreed, McFarland now faces as much as 8 to 10 years in prison at his June 21 sentencing. Under the terms of the plea deal McFarland has agreed to pay $26,040,099 in cash and asset forfeitures to the federal government. McFarland, who appeared in Manhattan Federal Court notably thinner, admitted to his crimes, saying, Today, Your Honor, I am accepting full responsibility for several serious mistakes that I made in my role as the head of Fire Media and Fire Festival. He told the judge. McFarlane went on to say, I lied to investors about various aspects of Fire Media and my personal finances. Those lies included false documents and information that I am aware were transmitted over interstate lines. I deeply regret my actions and I apologize to my investors, team, family and supporters who I let down, a Chase and McFarlane told you. S. District Judge Naomi Rice, Buck Walden, Manhattan. Customers hoping to see Blink 182 and the hip hop act Migos arrive to learn music acts were cancelled. Their luxury accommodations and gourmet food consisted of leaky white tents and cheese sandwiches. Customers lashed out on social media with the hashtag number FireAfro. A lawsuit filed in Los Angeles called the festival nothing more than a get rich quick scam. It said the festival's inadequate food, water, shelter, and medical care left attendees stranded on a remote island in a dangerous and panicked situation. He said he intended to organize a legitimate festival when he planned the Fire Festival as an outgrowth of a digital application he launched in May 2016 to help concert promoters and private individuals directly book musicians for concerts. I grossly underestimated the resources that would be necessary to hold an event of this magnitude, he said. In an attempt to raise what I thought were needed funds, I lied to investors about various aspects of fire media and my personal finances. Those lies included false documents and information. McFarland also revealed that he tricked a ticket reselling company into paying him $2 million for a block of advance tickets to the festival while having lied about his company's finances. Guests of the event, who paid up to $12,000 per ticket, ended up being served cold plastic wrapped cheese sandwiches and were housed in tents and didn't have bathrooms or running water. Blink 182 even pulled out of the event despite McFarlane shelling out $160,000 for a yacht for the band 